the secret in Google SketchUp to making interesting uh, walls and other such things in 3D is that once you've got your floor plan drawn, now what you can do is you can just offset. Um, here's your offset tool right here. And so what we need to use is our selection arrow. So we select a line. And in order to select the other line, if I just click on it, it removes the selection from the first one. So I have to hold down shift and you'll see the little plus minus. So I'm going to select both of those lines and I'm going to offset them. And so I just click on the line and pull it in. And at this point, I'm going to type in 0 decimal 2 and press enter. And what that means now is that this distance is exactly 0 0.2. So I can get out the tape measure and I can click on one point and click on the other point. Oh, sorry, it went too fast. Click and drag and there's 0 0.2. So I can also do this with more than one line. Okay, so I can take the entire of this box. Oh, sorry, I still had a selection, so I hit escape to get out of my selection. I can take the entire of this box and pull it in and type in 0 0.2. Oh, didn't like that at all, did it? Control Z, let's try this again. So pull in the box. You can see down in the bottom area there's a distance 0 0.2. No, nope, still nothing. So Control Z. Choose offset, click to pull it in, 0 0.2, there we go. Okay, so it is a little bit finicky, but you can manage to get it done. Now on this side here, I've already got my 0 0.2 on this side, so I only need it on the other sides. Okay, and so in order to do that, I'm just going to go back to my selection tool. I'm going to say I want this line and this line, and this line, and this line. And I want to offset them, 0 decimal 2, enter, and we're good. Now you'll see here there's a couple of weirdnesses going on right here. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this again. I'm going to do an extra one over here, because when you do offset, you have to have some kind of a corner, so it figures out which way to offset it. So I'm going to offset that 0 0.2 and enter. And now I've got a whole bunch of weirdnesses going on. I've got a double one here. I've got all kinds of things. So in my selection, I'm just going to delete that one that I just did. The only reason I added it was to get this line out. And then I'm going to use the line tool. And I'm going to draw this line over. And now you can see that I don't need that little piece right there. So if I erase that little piece, it's now see-through, and there's also another little piece over here. And the reason for that is that later on I'm going to do a 3D call where I want all of these walls to come up all at once. So if I click in that space, oh, sorry, if I click in the space, I should see polka dots for all the walls, and you can see there, oh, there's another one. So I click somewhere else, and I have to go in with the eraser and touch that up. And I'll have to touch that one up and touch this one up there. And so now you can see it's starting to come together. And if I use my selection and click in there, then all of my walls now have polka dots. And I need that for later on. So please make sure that you go through and make sure that if you click in between your walls, you get polka dots all the way. You can see I still have a number of other walls left to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can pick up where you are working.